There is more confusion today involving marijuana in the Houston area. Today, the Harris County District Attorney said that it will no longer accept charges for anybody caught with less than four ounces of pot. Four ounces or a quarter of a pound is a lot. That's equivalent to more than 112 joints. Channel 2 anchor Keith Garvin breaking down which counties are prosecuting and which ones are passing. Keith? Dominique, we're outside the Harris County District Attorney's office, and the DA's office says that this issue comes down to, or this new policy rather, comes down to an issue of time, money, and a new definition of hemp. But we spoke to our KPRC legal analyst, and he believes that this is going to lead to a lot of unnecessary confusion. Kim Ogg has made the determination to essentially take misdemeanor marijuana off the books in Texas. That is the take by KPRC legal analyst Brian Weiss after Tuesday's announcement by Harris County's district attorney. In response to a new state law, Kim Ogg says her office will no longer accept criminal charges for misdemeanor marijuana possession without lab results that confirm the level of THC, the ingredient that actually produces the high. But now, according to this law, we are required to prove the potency of the substance. The cutoff for misdemeanor marijuana possession is four ounces. If the substance consists of 0.3% or more of THC, it's considered marijuana. Anything less, it's hemp, which was legalized last month. Ogg's office says the decision largely comes down to expense and time, but Brian Weiss says the policy lacks consistency and places law enforcement and users in a precarious position. Whether or not you get arrested and tossed in a cage, for smoking a joint shouldn't turn on whether or not you're on this side of the county line or that side as you're making your way up Interstate 45. Fort Bend's DA also has said his office will not be prosecuting misdemeanor cases without lab results. Counties that will be prosecuting those cases are Montgomery, Brazoria, and Galveston. Waller County's DA will not be taking any new cases. I commiserate and sympathize with the law enforcement officer in that situation who's been confronted with a clear violation of law. But what does he or she do knowing that it may not be worth the effort to make that arrest? And Houston's police chief, Art Acevedo, responded to this new policy earlier today in a tweet. He says that his department will continue to make arrests and refer charges in misdemeanor marijuana possession cases. We're live from downtown Houston. Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Keith. On ClickToHouston.com, we have posted marijuana policies that we've received from several Houston area counties. It's right there on our homepage, ClickToHouston.com.